Hello everyone, in this video we're going to be starting a new career series. This one is going to be in classic career mode. As you can see we got our little dog over here, Jack Russell. He was already named when I got here for some reason. And yeah, we're going to start by building a new boat. So we're just going to start with something basic. Nothing too fancy. Nothing too expensive. We're going to have to build up a lot of stuff. Anyways, so it's just gonna be pretty basic. Nothing too fancy, just enough to get the thing going. I'll be about that wide, about that long. Um, what should we do there? Okay, yeah. And it's going to be about so and so tall. I want it to be kind of wide. I'll remove the extra blocks later. But for right now, this should be good. Drag this across. Like so. I don't know why it does that. It's really annoying, but whatever. Grab this. Drag this in. And now the annoying part is... We're gonna have to deal with the old engines. Not the old, I mean like the, the smaller engines. You know what I mean? The the small ones that are an absolute pain to hook up. So let's slap two of these in here. That's air, which can go straight up. It's uh, this this one is such a pain to hook up because there's not a lot of room to work with. Exhaust, that can just go straight out to the side here. Right, that'll work. Is that exhaust? Yes, that is, okay. That's fuel, in coolant, and out coolant. These can just go to the seafloor. I find it's more the 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 fuel that's the paint up. Let's see if we can if it holds to that or if it's or if I'm just exaggerating. Let's put two in here. I'm gonna hook up both just so we have something to work with. Maybe I was just trying to fit so like too much into a very small space where it wasn't meant to go that could be it too because this actually isn't that hard yeah okay and then for these we can just get an angled enclosed one grab this slap that in there grab that put that down Do we're not gonna bother color coding anything right now because we're not that far in. This is really just to get us started. I still remember the old tutorial from Stormworks that you would have. Uh, okay, so let's get the propellers. You'd have to go to a hospital, take things to a hospital. It was kind of cool actually. I didn't, I didn't mind the tutorial. Uh, are we going to have to bring that back another block we might have? No, we don't. Okay. What we can do is drag this all the way across here. Not quite. Drag this, drag this in there. Try it in there, there we go. No we need rudders. We'll just get this. I think it's more expensive, but I think it works better and more more in the business of efficiency here. I 
Alternator seat, uh, compact pilot seat, driver's seat, pilot seat, and they're all the same thing. Okay. So grab that, plop that down. Hockey one's gonna start the engine. Division S is gonna be the throttle. And then A and D is gonna be what's used to turn. Okay, so what? So our fuel. I'm assuming. Well, does everything come pre-hooked up with fuel or no? Uh, so I know that crazy. That should be easy enough to do. Do we have access to generators? We do. Okay. Beautiful. Okay, let's just grab two and put them in here. We don't need these per se, but I guess actually let's put them all together so that they're all coming to like one output kind of thing. So they're more unified. One solid thing. Now we can get batteries because we'll need batteries too, right? So it's more just because we have a small generator unlocked that we might as well use it. We'll put the batteries in small places here we can fit a few and we're gonna need a refueling system unfortunately so what, we, what are we gonna do here I'm thinking we just connect all these just into one just to make things easier so we don't have to have like multiple different fueling parts and then we can just undo symmetry drag this all across here bring that up um, and then get a fluid Anchor, I don't know. Fluid connector, yes. Turn the temperature back on. Do we have a on button for that? So we need a toggle. Um, yeah, toggle. Put that in there. And then we need a pump, but we'll just leave that up to there for now. Turn on Christy. Right, a pump. Um, no we don't, no we don't, that's only for pumping fuel back out. What we have right now is fine. Turn on the fluid connector. I grabbed the wrong ladder, but whatever, it's fine. And then diesel, we can just grab, like pump out. Uh, okay. And then put the what? Hold the what? Huh? I I don't get it. Hold on. Maybe that's the wrong one. Let's put this back. We don't want this to spawning. This might be useful. Okay, I think we might have the wrong one. Hose. Let's just type in hose. There we go. Fluid hose anchor. And then this. We don't even need a toggle button for that. That slides even better. Okay, there we go. That should work now. It's the old system. Um, patch that. Uh, ah, so this thing can't reach at all. Well, that's annoying. Yeah, this thing is literally no reach. Okay, let's move back. And we can grab... Grab that, bring it back like so. And bring it all the way to the side. Uh, 
Um, now we can put that on. We should probably have sort of measuring system to tell when the fuel is going up, but I'm not sure if we have dials unlocked yet. So it's just working, right? Okay, it is okay. Whoa, buddy. Okay, let's put that away. Turn that off. So that's working. So what we want to do, we want that fuel back. We don't want to waste that. Pump in. So that should be going up, right? Yeah, there we go. So that's for correlated. You have to put it in the right one. Okay. So that should go back up. Okay, so what we gotta make sure to do is we gotta make sure to have like some sort of like fuel tank to transport fuel back to these bases. Otherwise we'll have what happened to one of my other or to my dozen other Curve once just run out of fuel. This is a lot. This is jet fuel storage. This is um. This is what you do if you want to get like an electrical charge or like get hot crazy. I assume. What's the reach on these? Oh, this is even farther. We're not gonna. This is actually. The reach on this actually isn't terrible. You go faster, which is kind of cool. Um, has, it, has it stopped emptying? No, it hasn't. Wait, do the tanks spawn with fuel already in? No, if they did, we would have already been able to start. Because I was thinking that could be an infinite fuel glitch. If that was the case, but I don't think that is. Oh, it's still going up. How much fuel did we pump in here? It feels like there's way too much coming out. Like, I don't think I put nearly that much in there. Is there any crates on this island we can get to? Is there still fuel pumping? Okay, that's enough. We need to... I, I don't know whether I should keep this going. Or take it out, because I know I'm going to need fuel, but I also don't think I put that much in. Okay, if that's... Okay, that's enough. That's enough. How much fuel do we have left in here? Okay, take it back to workbench before we lose it. Okay. We're going to need a dial... Um, we don't have an ad block, do we? Well, we do. It's a big one. We we'll probably never use this, but not all the way. One out, so I'll go into there. One in. Hold on. We need the content, not the... And then... We need the content. We're gonna include, the, gonna include this. Um, this. That controller is not mine, by the way. I haven't actually looked at any of my creations since way too long. Oh, so it does have fuel already in there. So that is an infinite fuel glitch. Huh? So does it automatically take from here? 4,029. 4, okay, so it takes it automatically. So we don't have to do that process. Okay. Cool to know. 
So any fuel that we have left will be automatically returned. Okay. Nice to know. Um, and let's see if we can, before we go, let's see if we can actually take this out on a mission. We do not have that centered at all, do we? No, we don't. Paste that in there. You better, you better not have that. <laughs> uh, or tonight, I should say. It's 8.40 p.m. right now. I have tried several videos, all of which failed or I gave up on because they wouldn't work. And um, in one of those videos, I learned that you should not do a mission while it's nighttime because um, you're not going to be able to see what you're looking for. And we want to get missions faster anyway, so a, a tsunami war- okay. Okay, let's conduct repairs on orange fishing- okay. We can, we can try and do that. I think we might be able to make that. Um, we're gonna need some basic stuff though. So we might, there might, we need a welding torch for sure. Right, we also will probably need an underwater welding torch too. Just in case, and we'd probably need a fire extinguisher. Just in case there's a fire. And then a defibrillator, just in case. Save that. This is not going to be anything fancy. Quite the opposite, actually. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Hold on. We need to move this more to the middle. I think we might have too much power on it. That or it's not heavy enough. That could be the case. I don't trust that this thing's not gonna capsize. E I don't trust this thing to not capsize. Um, so we're gonna do is we're gonna get some white blocks. And um, just wait down on the side. These are a lot heavier than you think they are, so I'm not going to include a whole ton. But I just don't trust this boat to not capsize. That's already. No, that's not. <laughs> do we have anything that we can do here? Yeah, we need to save that. And we jumped over the boat. Yeah, this guy, this character is really flexible. When he wants to be. Okay, I'm not sure how much better this is, but it's not much better. This is so terribly unstable. Unfortunately, this cost us most of what we have, so hopefully we don't lose this thing. So we're not. It's okay. Well, we should. We should be there in a half decent amount of time. Please don't fall off the boat. Are we gonna have enough fuel to get there? I hope we do, but somehow I doubt it. I might shrink that add controller down a little bit, so that way we can have more space. Oh. So now it just happens to be turning night as soon as I- okay, whatever. We have the description, it's apparently orange. And the sunset is orange, perfect. Make sure you check your fuel occasionally because you don't know if you're gonna get stranded or not and you don't want that happening 
we need money, but we are, yeah, we all seem to keep our fuel supply as well. Because every time we go out, we end up using fuel, right? So we need to get fuel from somewhere. I'm not quite sure how that works yet, but we'll figure it out. Repair hull damage. Okay, so good thing we brought that underwater rolling torch. I'm glad that I did that because um, yeah, if I didn't, we'd have to we'd have wasted more time today. <laughs> or I would have. Okay, so we're going up on it. The thing launch flares or anything? I assume not. I think I see the boat here. I guess what we could do is I guess we could like steal their own steal their fuel. If that's if that's an option, like spring out a hose and a, maybe a pump just in case, and take the fuel from their boat if we ever find ourselves running out. I'll have to try that next time. Anyways, let's turn that off here. Is nobody aboard? Okay, so we need an un no, we don't need the defibrillator. We need the underwater rolling torch. There's nobody aboard. Can I drive this? Oh crap. Oh my goodness, I can drive this. I don't think so, but I can bring this back into the workbench. I don't think I can bring this back. I think I can drive this, but I can't bring it back to the workbench. Oh crap, I'm sinking it. Hold on. I sunk it, okay. Where's the hull damage? We need air. Well, <laughs> I forgot that he's running. It's, it's hilarious, but it scared me at the same time. Hold on. Um, that drowning noise is so stupid yet so funny at the same time. Oh, this boat's sinking. Did I just waste my time coming all the way out here? Should I bring an oxygen mask? I don't, I don't think I, t I think I, sh I don't think I should open that door. Well, I got the thing. Just for fun, let's sink it. Just so we never have to look at it again. There we go, bye bye. I think, yeah, I can't drive these back, but I don't think I can bring them to the workbench. You used to be able to do that, which is really cool. But they removed that, and you know how that boat's gone for sure. They used to be able to do that, and I really like that feature, but they they removed it, unfortunately. I don't know why. Maybe that's what not what you were supposed to do. We should have more than enough fuel to get back. Yeah, that boat's gone. I I just sink it for fun. But yeah, you I I can drive it back to the workbench if I really need a boat, but I won't be able to bring it into the workbench. If you know what I mean. So I can take it back there, but there's no point because I can't bring it into the workbench to actually, you know, bring in the fuel and the parts and all that. And even if I could, though, um, that wouldn't bring us any more money. And that would just, I mean, that would bring us more fuel, but we'd, we'd have to come back and bring this boat. Or we could just leave it here, but then we'd have lost a bunch of money. So I'd rather just keep this anyways. But we might be able to experiment that in the future. What's our fuel readings? Oh, plenty. Okay. I should definitely set up a control panel where the fuel readings are and the electricity readings are. I still don't get what the trim thing does. Like, what does that do? Like, if anybody, like, what does what does this trim thing even do? Does it like kind of like change your angle? Oh, okay. Yeah, that changes your angle or, or base angle. Um, let's turn that down. Okay, okay, that's what that does. Okay, so that changes like your base angle, probably for like stability or something. But yeah, I accidentally pulled up that menu several times <laughs> in the past, and I have still have no idea what it does. So maybe that's what it does. Maybe it isn't. 
Don't capsize on me, please. We need to slow down here so we can get back into the hangar. Okay. We're back. Um. Okay. So that's the fuel. If that's the average amount of fuel it takes. So it goes back. We spawn it. It takes that 3,193. Okay. And that's going to wrap it up, I guess, for today's video. And, um, yeah, bye.